Hello, 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 hello. Say hello, Carlos. How are you today? I'm okay, happy. I'm eating good food. Okay, so welcome to our podcast. This is day one. We're just getting back from Buffalo. Um, this is Jerry, Jerry Jimerson. Um, Gerald is my first name. Um, I just went and picked up my friend Carlos from Buffalo, New York. He showed up at the bus station there. And uh, I saw him through the window. He was getting something to eat at the Tim Hortons stand. It was funny uh, because he was all dressed for like beach weather, and and it's pretty much beach weather here. But yeah. there's no beaches, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this thing is awesome, man. To be here in this way, same at home, you know. Uh huh. Wow, the first time ever. So probably say hello to the folks at home and that and that's right now. Let me ask you something. You are recording this for make a podcast. Yes, wow. we're recording a podcast right now for you. You don't talk. It's awesome. <laughs> it's better this way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so if you didn't hear that, Carlos doesn't know we're doing a podcast right now. So we <laughs> we're doing a podcast for all you folks in South America. I uh understand that uh, most people speak Spanish down there, so uh, good luck with the translation, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Oh, guys, I need to. Can I talk to the? Yeah, we're just talking about your friend? first day oh, and, and your God. trip here. So far on this trip here, I got a I got a call in the middle of the night from the U.S. Customs agent asking <laughs> who who in the world is Carlos Contreras. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, talk to him. No, man, you okay. tell me. Okay, I arrived. Uh, today is uh, Monday, 24. I live in Colombia uh, Saturday, 21, 22. Um, at the middle of the night, maybe. 9 or 10 p.m., I arrived to the United States uh, from Florida. That kind of tropical carrot kind of Caribbean because it's not Caribbean that they have here in the, in the US. So, uh, well, I was doing the lines, the stupid line because there are two, okay, I explain that later because there's something to say about the bad idea of government and control. Um, okay, about something that happened, but okay, I played to the point, I tell the story later. So, the thing is, um, I was doing the line, so the, oh man, the, the guy, the attendant, was so similar to Fidel Castro, man. When I saw this guy, I said to myself, <laughs> oh my God, I would like to ask that guy that. So, so when he started to, to attend me, he was not in the mood in which I can to ask that, you know, or to say something like that. Oh, he was upset with you. Something like that, yeah. yeah. I don't look like the face of a guy that is like ha, 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 funny with me now. It's another way, you know? So I arrived. Um, I don't remember if I was starting to talk, um, to talk on um, uh, English for sure. And the, 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 the guy said, uh, what, what are you saying? Why do you say, I don't know, what, what, what is that French? I don't understand what you're saying. In that way, you know? But he said that almost simultaneously I was talking, so it was not possible that he was saying that he heard something about me because I didn't say anything before that, you know? So, I, I, I feel like it's uncomfortable. I give the paper to him. He will start to start to do the, the same, the same quickly, quick, uh, quiz of the quickly asking about, okay, where you come from, what in the morning, why do you know the guy? Uh, okay, so the guy was giving you a lot of trouble at the airport when you were trying to come into Miami, Florida? Yeah, man. So, so suddenly he said, okay, let's wait before the line. He, he seen me go back, you know? Oh my God, I said to myself, what are you doing the wrong way? Well, I do something on the line, get into the self-registering <laughs> passport inside, but that is says other history, you know? Because right. Now there's machines attending you, buddy. There's not just you, there are machines talking to you. It's terrible, this, this place, man, and that stuff. So that's good, that's good. So you got so you got through, the guy called me, asked me a bunch of questions to make sure okay, that you man. were... So they take me over with other lady, 
you know, with a couple of you know, family, a guy, a lady and his, her niece, like seven or six years old. We are getting there, I sit, there's a television, is, oh, there's a lot of people, you know, I was thinking it was because I'm bad, because my clothes were not, I was the only in the Caribbean way, but there were others, African-Americans, Latino, a Caucasian guy with good clothes. So, they start to make questions, you know. <laughs> Why are you came to America? Okay, I go to visit to my friend. You know, you know Okay, um, where, where did you go? No, I go to, to New York City. But where there? To Salamanca. So the, the same put this lap lap. Okay, so, and he said, okay, sorry, but Salamanca is just in New York City. In New York State, sir. I scroll. So when I tell the guy, he feels weird, you know, because the people here, I mean, he feels weird because maybe he does, he never find no one that came in America to his town, you know, or, or a place in which he has family. So he looks like, okay, Salamanca, I have family in Salamanca. He said that immediately, you know, about his family. It's very personal stuff. So when he said that, I feel uh, glad because, oh my God, since God is the first time I came to America and the people know where is Salamanca. Because the people, uh, the first time ever, the lady said Salamanca here in the US in New York. <laughs> I remember that, you know, the first right. uh, lady. So when I told that, the, 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 the main take and a new strength, you know, a new, a new weight. So I, oh my God, that was awesome for me. Well, that's good. I'm glad you got through. You clap. Yeah. Most glad, man. Give me five. Oh, oh, I know oh, you're not of that move, but <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Carlos got through. Uh, that was his. That was his trip from Colombia to Florida. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna talk about uh, the overnight stay in Miami and then uh, New York City where he gets some free computer work done. So <laughs> we'll for, talk to you guys in a little while and uh, for the corporation for stay free. tuned because this is a two month long podcast. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to be doing things with Carlos <laughs> that he's never done before. <laughs> oh man. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. All right. Say okay. bye. Bye. I need to say something else, please. In six months, or seven, I spent two summers in different places in the extreme of the continent, you know? Mm -hmm. Two summers in one year. I have this year. Ah, oh, but it's so special. First of the south and yeah. now the north. Yeah, the good thing, like a uh, little backstory, Carlos's fourth trip this time. Yeah. Right? Fourth trip. The last three times Carlos came was during the winter. Uh, it was uh, temperatures of minus 22. That's negative 22 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, it's it's the current temperature during the day is right around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's a that's a 121 degree difference in, in climate that he's going to experience now. So. Uh, Big, big difference. Last time you were all bundled up, weren't you? Lots of clothes, hats, gloves. Every was Boots. For sure. Yeah, not this time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye, Good. guys. This is awesome. This Thank is you, the Gail. first one. Thank we'll you, back to you. Thank goodbye you, Original. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, Nature. Wow.